Welcome to the Google Ads API Best Practices Series. My name is David Will, and I'll be your guide on improving the efficient and effective use of the API. Let's get started. Welcome to Mutating Information Efficiently, part of our Best Practices Series. Let's start with the definition of what mutating means. It means you're going to create, update, or remove a resource. Resources are really the key to the Google Ads API because they define the actual objects that you'll be dealing with, like campaigns and ad groups and ads. Most resources have a cor corresponding mutate service. For example, campaign has the campaign service.mutate campaign method. With this method, you can create, update, or remove campaigns. There are a few exceptions. A few services have special method signatures, such as the recommendation service. But generally, every service has a corresponding service mutate method. Let's break down the mutate of a single service. When mutating through a single service, you create a request. The request consists of a series of operations. Each operation will either create, update, or remove a resource. Any combination of operations can be in a single request. So you could have one request that has 100 create operations or 100 update operations. It can be any mix of creates, updates, and removes in a given set of operations inside a single request. The request gets sent to the Google Ads API. The response comes back with a set of results. And the set of results are one-to-one -one correspondence with a set of operations. So each operation has a result. Operation one has result one, Operation 2 has result 2. When submitting multiple operations in a single request, by default, all these operations complete successfully or fail together. Let's say, one, let's say one of the create operations fails. All the operations in that case will not execute and be rolled back to their prior state. There are some exceptions. There's a parameter called partial failure. If partial failure is set, then each of the operations is now ungrouped and executed independently. It's as if you made a separate request for each of the operations in one large single request. It is still more efficient than making multiple distinct requests, but you don't have the ability to coordinate between different operations. It is also possible to get a success status code, but ultimately the operation may not take effect. A good example of this is conversion uploads. There is a batch process behind the scenes that performs the upload, which may only occur hours later. Your call to the API may return a success code, but then there may be no effect of the operation because the backend process fails much later on. We call these operations grouped, but they're not atomic. This is all fine if you're talking about a single service, like the campaign service. What happens if there are multiple services? Let's look at a common scenario. Let's say you have to add an app ad campaign. There are multiple steps to do this, requiring multiple services. We have to create a budget, then the campaign, then the targeting, then the group, and then finally create the app ad. There are five different services that need to be involved. What happens if a step fails? How do you handle these gracefully? And can you make multiple calls to multiple services in a single request to be efficient? The answer is that there's a special service called the Google Ads Service Mutate. This service can perform mutates across multiple services in a single request. It has a secondary advantage as it allows you, allows you to use temporary resource names. Temporary IDs are placeholders for forward references. In this example, which is based on REST, we want to create a campaign. We don't know what the resource name of that new campaign is, so we create a placeholder. All temporary IDs are negative integers. That's how you can distinguish between a temporary ID and a permanent ID. As long as you generate a unique temporary ID in the request, it can be used in all future operations of the same request. In this case, we're creating a campaign with a temporary ID of negative one. And then later on, when we create the ad group, 
we can reference the new campaign specifying the same negative one. Whatever language you use with the Google Ads API, we recommend that you have a method to keep track of these temporary IDs so they are unique across all operations in the request. There's a link on the slide on how, to, on how this is done in Python. The organization of the Google Ads service looks similar to the per service request, but there are a couple of subtle differences. You still create a request. It still consists of multiple operations. In each operation, it is specified the resource name and the action. For example, create campaign, update ad, remove ad group are all examples of different operations that can be specified in a single Google Ad Service mutate request. Similarly, the response is a set that also corresponds one-to-one -one with your operations. So why is it helpful to group operations? There are two large advantages in grouping operations. For the vast majority of cases, when you create a budget and a campaign in an ad group, they're all created as one logical unit. In general, they will all succeed together or fail together. The second reason is, is that it is also vastly more efficient. In summary, we recommend you group operations whenever possible into a single request. If all the operations are specific to one service, then make a single request with multiple operations to that service. If you have to coordinate across services, make a single request to the Google Ads service mutate and then specify all the services and all the operations that you need for those services. Use temporary IDs, which are negative values, to keep track of all the forward references. We welcome your comments and feedback by email. Please check out our other episodes in our Best Practices series, as well as our, other YouTube, uh, as well as our YouTube channel. Thanks very much for listening. Thank <laughs> you.